This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. And I'm back. Back to carry on playing through into this absolutely loony game. Not as loony as some, but uh, it's definitely been a very weird game. And a good weird as well. And Remedy have really proven themselves to be a fantastic developer. Oh look, there's a room I can't get in, and there just so happens to be a control point right after where I stopped. Hang on a minute. This is... that's an unusual looking control point. Knock everything over? Okay. Uh, and another place that I can't get to. This must... Uh, no, this is a separate part to the... Uh, this is to one side and above. Okay. Hello! <laughs> that just happened to be the last one. Okay, so... Shatter Projectile Choke. Uh, no, not worried about that. But that either. Well, that one. So, that new one... Uh, I keep just picking up new abilities that really don't resonate with how I play the game. Uh, uh. Yes, I might as well get rid of the ones I'm never going to use. These ones here. I'll keep hold of the damage while aiming ones because those have potential if I'd want to change how I'm how I'm working things. Okay, right, so I still got the same ones. It's all fine. Right. That's a protection one. This new ability is de definitely interesting. But it's been introduced at such a late stage of the game that I'd have to change the way I'm playing to make use of it, and it just doesn't feel right. It's kind of like the mistake that um, was made with the original God of War, and I mean the original one. 
Bailey. Not sure she's ready. <laughs> I'm here, like now. aren't I? I saved the Bureau once, and I'll do it again. Hmm. Yeah, the original God of War from the PS2, uh, they made a decision to have the... Um, they, they created this really brilliant combat system that you learn how to perfect all the way through the game. And then for the very final phase of the final boss, it takes it away and gives you a completely different weapon you haven't used before. One of the most frustrating gameplay shifts I've ever seen. Um, I nearly rage quit when I played that through originally because it was just it's just you, you you spend the whole game mastering that control scheme and those weapons and then take it away for the final fight now for a, a novel or a film or a TV show yeah that works brilliantly because it puts the tension on yeah can the hero who um oh who's mastered something uh, for their entire career manage without their great thing yeah, um, it creates one hell of a moment for an ending to something, but for a game, it just creates a, a se section of frustration. And thankfully, they never did it again. I say that without having played the two most recent ones, which I am I will do at some point because I want to get the PC versions. Um, and they're they're on the list to get. I've just got so many games to play through as it is. Anyway, um, Meteor Hill. Oh. This is an addition to the um, the one we've learned about. So this one's important. Okay. Her archival mandates this document has been edited. Certain terminology may be out of date. Okay. The retrieved material was subjected to Felstrom's array. Configuration 74B. But the tests were halted as the matter began to physically exude the equipment. The equipment? Attempts to constrain the element were made, but further stress, uh, un under further stress, it became vaporous, so it became a gas. The researchers suffered corrosive injuries prior to their deaths. Ooh. The child victims at Meteor Hill recounted the material enveloping them in a pleasant manner upon making contact, but when discovered, they were something and screaming. Bodily changes were perceived immediately, deformities, loss of pigment in the skin and hair. The mental symptoms surfaced in subsequent examinations. Confusion, heightened aggression. The Department of Public Knowledge and Diversions gave uh, statements claiming the incident was caused by debris from poorly made Russian satellites, with which the public accepted with no complications. The children were sent to the, the Bureau's recuperation facility in something to, to receive them, away from society or to receive help away from society so what became of those kids did some of them become bureau agents keep pressing the wrong button right okay let's pull the elevator and what's it launch efficiency and more shifting fragment uh what's the launch efficiency that's 16 not as good as the ones i've got Okay, so, ooh, I've got more shifting fragments. Mm. One of the things I've been trying to get. Okay, that's where I currently am. There is more above. There. Go right the way to the bottom. What is the ritual I've got to I've got to complete here? Oh, 
Have a look at these. <laughs> I've got enough shifting fragments, I just need a corrupted sample. Okay, what about over here? No. Still haven't got enough of those. Right, okay. Hmm. A game of you? Game's just crashed. That's the first crash I've had. Hmm. Okay. 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 Epic is now asking the question: Do, Does this game have great boss battles? I'm not even going to respond to that. <laughs> okay. Don't know what happened there. <laughs> I hope it's not a case that the game crashed because of that little message pop up. You know, I wouldn't put it past them, that being what caused it. Doesn't seem to want to let me skip anything. I usually just open it and leave it opening itself while I'm setting everything up every, every time I stream, so I don't tend to see all the intro. Right. Mm. Now if I'm right, it should bring me to the... to here, okay. Right. That seems fine. Okay. So yeah, complete the ritual in... After getting the shape ability, Jesse is able to access remote areas of the foundation. Okay, right, so that doesn't give me any, any information. Gotta be careful. Oh, that does not look good over there. Right, so... Another one.
Oh, okay. Oh yeah, need some more hidden treads. Right, so got that way to go and also this one. So the elevator should now be able to go up to this level. Foundation etchings on the four etchings. Four. Okay. Uh, compiled by Theodore Ash. Oh, one thing I've mentioned to my wife uh, during the break. All the recordings we're hearing from Theodore, um, Dr. Ash, it's reminding me of Norm from Fallout. Just he, the voice is one thing, but his determination to just find answers in spite of what he's been told by the higher ups is reminding me very much of the the character. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the same actor, um, Morales, I think his name is, or something like that. I probably got it completely wrong there. Um, he was one of my favourite characters in the series as well. He was awesome. Anyway. <coughs> My explorations of the Foundation have resulted in yet another mystery. A fascinating series of etchings on large stone tablets. The tablets themselves are likely not native to the Foundation, seeing as they're slabs of sedimentary stone, quite different from the cave's categorization-defying rock. Their placement and form are too intentional to be naturally occurring, but who braved this place to carry them in, and for what purpose? I discovered a five-point macro entanglement between the tablets, uh, with the pillar at its centre. These links seem to extend beyond our level of consciousness to some astral realm I can't detect. Is Northmore's board somehow tied to this? The etchings on these tablets are similarly curious. They, dif they differ from the cave paintings in style and technique, so are clearly not the same origin. Are they the vis visual narration of some, some event? Or do they indicate intent, a wish, a plan? They only seem to consist of a tree and of the pillar, but the sizes of are the sizes of either are inconsistent. What does that signify? I'm missing key pieces of this puzzle, and it's unlikely I'll ever find them. Hmm. <laughs> no light in the elevator at all. Yeah, the map in here is damn near useless because it's not a three-dimensional map and this this area here is just vertical. Having a 3D map would have been a lot better, but... Okay. Destroy all the hiss nodes to lower the barrier. Hmm, okay. So how do I get to that? Let's that one up to there. Don't shoot through there.
Bye. Okay. Ah, uh, see you around, Tom. Have a good one. Where I am. So up and west. So this must be the top. Oh, I didn't try to open that, did I? Right, time to go back down again. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to have to go up and down these multiple times to get all of those. I'm thinking this must be the top then. <laughs> no, there's more. Bloody hell. Okay. Let's head back down again. Right, I'm not going to be able to shoot through. So they only show up on the way up, not the way down. Okay. Yeah. You can barely see anything on the stream on the stream. This side. Now this should be the first one. Hmm. I've got a feeling you've got to do all three, all four of them. Feels quite mean. I'm going to try it. I've got my rapid fire weapon, which is the uh, <laughs> oh, the one you start with. Okay, let's get to the middle. Didn't get it. I'm going to check something. I'm curious. Okay. I'm just looking at the... I think I've got it. Okay. Right, okay. Hmm. 
humans. Oh, that's to do with the cats. Um, I haven't actually found any, weirdly. Uh, there are a whole lot of cats that are uh, items that you can find throughout. Basically, they're reward items for a, a puzzle thing. Right, okay. Other etching, like the one I used to get in here. Ritual. There's going to be a fight in here. Uh, hmm. Let's see what happens. God. So it's a combination of the guys that run at you with weapons and the invisible things. Oh. That would be a good point to use the shield, if I'm honest. And it's dropped me here. Okay. It's really not fun when they force you to do um, oh, long treks to get back to uh, a boss fight. Because you can end up spending more time getting back to the boss fight than actually doing the boss fight. Considering how long it's taken me to do this part, I'm hoping if I finish this, um, the warehouse, and get to the base camp tonight, um, I should be able to finish everything on either Monday or Sunday, depending on which night I decide to uh, stream. But I've still got at least half an hour left to go tonight before I finish up. Okay, this fight is not fair. <laughs> um, yeah, because this, this game doesn't have good... Um, just a moment, just need to shift something. The, the game was covering over uh, something I need to be able to see. Um, this game doesn't have good melee combat at all. I mean, for one thing, the, the, the melee button is in a really awkward place on the keyboard. I, mean, I could remap it if I wanted to, but I never, I didn't want to use um, melee attacks throughout the game. And now the game's throwing um, enemies that attack with melee at me. Uh, 
that. Well, what's that? Am I recovering a void? No. I've even got increased health as well. Actually, you know what? Max out health. What have I got here? Uh, am I recovery on taking his charge damage? No. Rate of fire? Not really. Am I recovery after taking launch damage? No. I'm going to try using the um, the grip mode for the pistol, see if that makes a difference. Come on, elevator. <laughs> there we go. I thought for a moment, it hasn't glitched out, has it? This is slightly frustrating because it takes such a long time to get to the fire. I'm spending more time just getting back to it than than actually doing the fight. I got stun locked. That's a Dark Souls tactic. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, so first I've got to take out the um, oh the invisible thing. Yeah, I'm gonna try something. Um, I'm gonna warp here. So I think this is the base. Yes. Then the elevator should be at the bottom here. So then I should be able to just take it all the way up to the top. Yeah. And hopefully that's going to be where I respawn. Yeah, the, winning this fight is going to be by the skin of your teeth because that, that enemy. I'm going to have to try. Or try to remember to um, activate shield. As soon as it appears and screeches, I need to activate shield. Because it's taking out most of my health. It's not killing me. That's not the thing that kills me. It's the, um, oh, the guys with the, the hatchets. Those guys are just going to keep respawning.
hang on. I was out. I was outside of his arc. Oh, I'm not even playing on hard difficulty. I'm playing on normal difficulty here. So yeah, things are going to be a challenge, but. Okay, yes, I was right. It's probably what I wanted to be. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to get this. It's just... This is frustrating at this point, because this is the most times I've died at the same place. The last time I died this many times was to, um, oh, the final boss of the Alan Wake DLC. And this isn't the final boss of this section. This is just the boss fight at the top of this area. Which they just had to have picked the... Or the combination of the two most annoying enemies in the game. Where's the, um, the sphere? To do that, I had to use a totally different um, tactic. Literally just running in a circle. Oh, okay. <laughs> Zoom boost. Nah, won't be using that. What's one I currently got? Damage against armoured enemies. Hmm. I'm going to go back to using that one because I don't think I'm facing any armoured enemies at the moment. Uh, nothing new under collectibles. Okay. Let's see if touching this again does anything. Abalon. Oh, that's the... Is this the lock slash key the board told me about? Um... Hmm. <laughs> Our nail is rebuilding. Just doing my job. Oh. Okay. So those tablets were... Well, what's doing? Well, I'm going to take a risk. We <laughs> Back down here again. Yeah, um... Jesse definitely deserves a rise. Okay. Yeah, let's just do a drop. 
Meow. Just call that. Oh, five points. That gives me that. And that. Siege la seize large enemies. Oh, oh, that's going to be uh, useful. So three more points and I can get that. Okay, right, what else can we do? Still haven't got enough for those. I need one corrupted sample. One corrupted sample and I can upgrade to the level six. So, uh, let's head back to the crossroads and see how far we can get. Um, if I finish, I'm going to see what I can do over the next um, 20 minutes, half an hour. Oh, that's a, that's a friendly. Yeah, see what I can do over the next uh, 20 minutes, half an hour, maybe. And uh, if I finish things really quickly on uh, Sunday or Monday, I will attempt the the jukebox again. Oh, is Emily here? That's Emily. Jesse, hey. Emily, what are you doing down here, Emily? What do you mean? You called me down, remember? I'm pretty sure I didn't. No, that's right. You didn't. But then I remember you needing me to come here. I mean, you even told me how to get in. Let's just chalk it up to synchronicity so we can get to work. <laughs> she takes everything in stride. Yeah. The board called me down here to deal with the situation. The astral plane is colliding with our world. I know. Isn't it fascinating? <laughs> I never even considered that the astral plane could be a, a physical volume expanding beyond its dimensional container. The bleed is localized to this area, but its growth rate seems steady. Given time, it will consume the entire bureau and possibly beyond. That's what I'm here to stop. The board told me to fix the nail over there by dismantling four locks in the astral plane. Funny, I think it's put itself back together a bit. So that could be due to the law of inverse exchange. For every associated component you remove, this nail reconstructs. Or possibly some variation of anti-sympathy. Don't worry, I'll look into it. Did you notice all the bureau infrastructure? It looks like there was a research team stationed down here at some point. Do you think Darling knew about this? I'd put money on it. That reminds me, have you seen Marshall? She contacted me over the hotline, but then I saw her walking around. I haven't seen her. The hotline only connects to extra planar entities or dead people. But Marshall's proved time and time again that she's a survivor. Hmm. That's exactly what I thought. Anyway, I've been looking into the minerals growing down here. Have you noticed how they insist on maintaining a certain form? Maybe some sort of a, a state memory, or they consciously prefer a certain shape? Or... I think we're on a clock here, Emily. <laughs> I need to stop the astral bleeding before it brings the oldest house down. See what you can find out from the nail in the meantime. And send out some rangers to look for Marshall. She may be in trouble. Will do, Jesse. If you see anything interesting, remember to take detailed notes. Something I've noticed. The lip sync All animation. All the tests I run on the nail keep coming back as nonsense. And a couple of my instruments have already broken. <laughs> Maybe we should take that as a sign to pack it in? I didn't take you for a quitter, Dr. Saba. There's a reason I packed a black rod-plated microscope. <laughs> As I was saying, the lip sync animation doesn't look as good on this as it does in the main game, so I have a feeling they weren't able to use all of their tech to do everything. Right, so at the nail, reach the base camp. Pope's collection, talk to Pope. Okay. Director? Let's see. Jesse, you're back. So did you find anything noteworthy? The original Bureau expedition down here left so much interesting stuff behind. Like their ID cards. I picked up a weird one. It's pretty old. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, I found a few ID cards myself. Or, more accurately, the Rangers found them for me. Are you starting a collection? I'm going for the whole set. I kid, of course. Hmm. But I suppose they are sort of like baseball cards. 
except for bureau stuff from the 60s. Hey, the one you found is different than mine. It looks like it's a higher clearance level. A rare one, then. <laughs> Want to keep it, Emily? Yeah, I absolutely do. But I think you should hang on to it for now. High clearance access might come in handy. Sounds like you have something in mind. Guilty. See, I've been going through Dr. Ash's notes, or the ones I can find, anyway. Like Darling, he seemed to enjoy hiding his most relevant research. <laughs> From what I gather, there is another floor beneath the warehouse with a special lab that requires five high-level staff members just to access. Here, take this. It's an old skeleton key. Something else the rangers found. I give them five bucks for every useful trinket they bring me. I'm gonna assume this key is my ticket to that lower floor. And that super secret lab you mentioned. Bingo bango, as Dr. Darling used to say. <laughs> well, keep your eyes peeled for more ID cards around the warehouse. If Ash's notes are reliable, and I'm sure they are, then five is the magic number. Okay. <laughs> I've already found four of them. Uh, right, so reach the base camp. That is all the way over there. Okay, right, so Pope's collection. Oh, they're all the way over there. Okay. Um, so I only have one to find. Uh,. Hmm. Yeah, I was really quite impressed with the facial animation in the base game, but um, the fact that it seems so hmm, odd in um, in the DLC doesn't sit right with me. Oh yeah, I'm up here. I was not expecting a fight up here. Actually, I've got a feeling I know where the last one might be. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say that um, they may have done the DLC a bit on the cheap compared to the main game, but it definitely does feel like they didn't use all of the same stuff to do it. So I think I know where this last one is. Oh! That will now open. It's that there. So why wouldn't that run before? This ID card was for an excavation engineer. Why did so many people abandon their cards down here? Ah, okay. Right, okay. I've got to figure out which... <laughs> That's why it wanted me to unlock the uh, mission first. Okay. Right, so I need to figure out which 
one goes with who? So, that one's got a medical. Uh, From a layer of dust on this place, nobody's swept here in years. Not even Ati. No way he'd stand for this. No. There's an elevator, which I'm sure is super safe. <laughs> in a space in each terminal for an ID card. But which card goes where? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, the one with the guns and everything is probably the uh, chief of security. Uh, lots of books. A um, oh Newton's cradle that seems locked. Uh, the physicist. And that one that looks like the oldest lot. And that group of people makes me think head of research maybe. Oh, Ash request denied. Two Dr. Ash from L. McNary. Out of your damn mind. Dr. Ash, as a chief excavation officer, it's my job to support the research team. So I got, <coughs> I got you your machine for that ridiculous sand research project. However, it's also my responsibility to ensure the safety of my crew. Do you know how many trips it took to get an entire bulldozer down here piece by piece? And do you know how many of my guys we lost in those trips? Here's a hint, too fucking many. Which brings me to my point. I'm writing you today because of this request form that's landed on my desk. Apparently you want a lightweight one or two man military grade helicopter for the purpose of surveying the vast expanse of columns by air. I bet you didn't even stop to wonder how much time, money, effort and blood this toy could cost you. Well, no sir, I am sorry, but I will not subject my men to another month of marching through that death trap upstairs. For Christ's sake, these people have families. Not that they ever get to see them anymore. Request denied. Okay, so that tells me this must be the um, head of excavation. So this one here... Uh, Senior cartographer. Now I just have to get on a rickety elevator that goes who knows how far down. Hmm. I got it right first time, and I got the right side of the elevator. Right, so basement level. It's probably going to open that side. Lab's way tinier than any of Darling's. This looks like the rest of the bureau. Ooh. What have we got? I'm not touching that. Not unless I have a re or not until I have a reason to. Concussed energy recovery. What the hell does that mean? Energy regained from taking melee damage. Well, I'm good for those. So it's just that bell. Why would they need such a heavy door down here? Oh, for the 
Allahu. this for? Doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, another boost to the zoom. Oh my gun. This looks like a nail. Only mini. Northmore final warning to Ash Jr. The Dr. Theodore Ash Jr., a director of the Federal Bureau of Control and chosen representative liaison benefactor of the greater authority of the board, I demand your immediate withdrawal from the Foundation. Prime memos issued broadly to Foundation staff called for swift reassignment of all personnel to the upper levels of the house. All staff complied except you. This demonstrates a lack of respect for my office and the board itself. This is their house and we are their guests. We should conduct ourselves accordingly. Normally such insubordination will be grounds for dismissal, but out of respect for your late father, I consider this instead my final warning. The board and director Ash chose me as successor to the office, and no amount of petulance will change that. Indeed, your actions seem to suggest you know better than myself and by extension better than the board. Interesting, he said, seems to suggest you know better rather than you think you know better. Let me be to assure you that is not possible. <laughs> hmm. A document? Is this in some kind of code? can't read a word of it. I should take this back to Emily and tell her I got into Ash's secret lab. <laughs> Just wanted to see if I could get up here. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't even pay attention to the name of the doctor I was fighting. Um. Yeah, it's here to the warehouse entrance. Hang on a minute, what was that I saw part way up? Well, I can't get out, so... That is another level. Yeah, that's another level. I'm going to go back down again because I want to have a look, a look around see if there's any way to get up there or down there. It literally just feels like... Yeah. No, there's nowhere to go. Feels a bit odd with a game this sort of size that you make areas that you can see but can't get to.
Ooh. Charge velocity boost. Uh, some new ones here. Any, any of those? Uh, am I going for melee? No. Uh, charge projectile speed. Not worried about zoom at all. Damage while aiming, I'll keep hold of. Uh, I'm going to keep hold of them. I'll keep hold of that as well because that's surprisingly good considering it's only a level 3. So, what's that new one I've just picked up? All oh, right, projectile speed. Unless it was no. okay. Oh yes, it's you. You're going to die in a moment. And I got some items out of it as well. Right. Okay, uh, back to the crossroads. Yeah, I mean, that, that fight, I mean, I was quite lucky there. Because <laughs> that, that would have finished me very, very quickly. Okay. I found Asher's secret lab. Excellent. Please tell me everything. Spare no details. Uh, well, there was another cave. The walls were covered in paintings of eyeballs. The research seemed dedicated to studying a kind of... smaller version of the nail. It looked like the same material as the one up here, but just a different shape. Well, are you sure you didn't see any functioning prototypes? Or at least some schematics? I mean, Dr. Ash was a very accomplished engineer. None. Sorry. I did find this handwritten note. Wow. I had terrible handwriting. <laughs> Never meet your heroes, right? That looks like a transcribed conversation between Ash and someone named F. Ooh. Oh, this is juicy. This will take me days to parse out. Maybe weeks. Have you ever thought about taking a vacation, Emily? <laughs> Are you kidding? This is my vacation, Jesse. Yeah, she loves the job a little too much. Something new from her. The as well. Rangers have tapped into an old radio network they found around the foundation. So if you need backup, just call them at one of the stations. Ah, okay. So we can ask a few more. How questions. did the Hiss get into the foundation? Same way we did, I imagine. But you need to remember that the Hiss are the embodiment of persistence. Their nature seems to be one of force, to find every possible vulnerability and exploit it. Their only goal is consumption. I'm sure there's plenty of goodies for them down here. The nail, for instance. If the Hiss could corrupt the nail, I'm sure they would have by now. It must not interest them in its broken state. They could be distracted by the numerous unknown paranatural materials I'm sure are lying around. These are the roots of the oldest house. The Hiss will find plenty of ways to make trouble. They're pretty good at that. Now that's an interesting comment she made. The Hiss probably aren't interested with the nail in its broken state, which means once we repair it, they're going to rush it. <laughs> and I might have to deal with a um, a, uh, a wave, a bunch of waves of enemies for the final boss. Um, but yeah, Emily clearly loves her job. So you've never heard of the Foundation, huh? I've never even seen the name referenced. It, clearly it's highly classified, but... For what reason? The problem with these kinds of closed off hidden areas is that they were likely sealed for good reason. But now no one is left to tell us what that reason was. <laughs> Any guesses yeah. why the Bureau would hide something like this? I only know what I've observed. This place is spatially rigid, which means it doesn't shift like the rest of the oldest house. And before you ask why that is, I have to admit that I'm clueless. There's some signal interfering with my equipment, making it hard to get a clear reading. It's being emitted from the floor. Maybe I should have brought a jackhammer. Probably the astral idea. plane is already taking chunks out of this place, Emily. Let's not add to it. Yeah. Right, so his presence... So let me get this straight. 
The astral plane is bleeding into the foundation. Correct. And that's happening because the nail is damaged. I'd say it's a bit more than damaged, but yes, that is my understanding. So what's the connection between the nail and the astral plane? It's a good question. See, I always pictured objects of power as strings between our plane and the astral. If the nail has a similar relationship, then maybe it's more accurate to think of it like plumbing. Now that the nail is busted, sewage is gushing everywhere. Not the prettiest metaphor. No. Hmm. I should get back out there. Agreed. The astral bleed won't stop itself. Right. So, because I didn't take the special ability, I can't get in there. Uh, okay, reach the base camp. Hmm, so I've got to get to the base camp somehow. I know you'll take care of this, Director. I'm not worried. Okay. <laughs> that is quite the view there. Because it literally looks like foundations holding something up, but why it be built like that? I do not know. Right, I'm going to see if I can get round to the next... At the very least, to a... A control point. Is that all of them? I think it is. What's along here? Right, there's a few other parts like that that I need to go back to that are much earlier on. Shifting fragment. Anything to be found here, so... I'm finding just these random ones all on their own.
Yep, I'm just going to keep blasting him from over here. Can he not shoot me from there? Go. Oh, those ones don't know how to dodge. Interesting. <laughs> is this the way I'm meant to go? No, this is a hidden area. Ah, right, can't open that. somewhere charge blast boost oh that's a level six uh, look at that that's my first level six uh so charge exclusive to charge and surge blast radius ooh <laughs> with a weapon I'm not even using. Um, I wonder why those ones are highlighted in yellow. Oh, they're special ones, aren't they? Yeah. And I've just noticed. I've got some more here. Source gain from taking melee damage. No, I don't want to rely on taking damage. The power up, that's just suicide to me. <laughs> Another box that I cannot open. Hmm. Any higher up there, okay. What do we got down here? Need a power source. This area looks newer. Is it from the upper floors? another one of these threshold barriers. Interesting that one one of these would appear here. There's something behind that his barrier. Okay. like a way to go. 
going a little bit later than I normally do, but uh, I want to get to the next control point, which I think I'm just about to. Yes. Right, anything to find in here? Now, by the looks of it, let's play this control point. And then I'm just going to have a quick look at um, oh, what upgrades I have available. Three for the final C's. So now I've maxed out C's. That's good. Um, I don't know what else. I mean, I might as well improve shield because that's been useful on occasion. I'm while well, levitating slam into the ground to damage nearby enemies. I mean, that's potentially useful, but I don't really fly around that much in combat. Um, and melee, I mean, I mean, yeah, maxing out melee is probably really brutal. I mean, it's like when I maxed out the, um, oh, uh, the launch damage. I mean, the amount of damage I'm doing with that is ridiculous. But let's just check the constructs. Still haven't got a corrupted sample. All of these want corrupted samples. And I can now get the surge upgrade. Um, Entropic Echo. Right, both of those use it, but uh, one wants to use 20, the other wants to use 5. So three corrupted samples at once. Eww. Uh, undefined readings. No, none of them are crossed uh, cross over, so... Yes. So... I've maxed out Surge. What other things can I put on? <laughs> oh, infinite level rather than oh, infinite category. I see. Right then. And those two, I've still got to level up a bit. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure which is going to be better with those upgrades. But, uh, I think I've covered everything. Just. Uh... Right, that un clears all of those. And yeah, just getting rid of all the notifications because. Um, for the media and the hotline, it shows me it and plays it, but then it marks it as something I haven't watched, which is a bit weird. Whereas all of these, they do come up as um, unread and I need to actually view them and that clears the notification, uh, which works out. But anyway, um, yeah, we have made some good progress. It's about 10 to 10 p.m. at the moment, so a little bit later than I normally finish. But um, yeah, haven't been at work today, so I'm not quite so tired as I normally would be. Let's have a quick look, see if anyone's available to raid. Um, hmm. All people who I, who I haven't raided before. Hmm. Right, well, let's just, let me just switch over to just me so I'm not um, re-broadcasting um, somebody else's audio. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, as always, an ad before because I'm I'm not paying for the um oh the upgraded I'll uh, switch to to get rid of ads. I'm not going to put money into a system that um I may perhaps be making money myself. Um, so you're just going to let the ad run and see how they're doing. I think I may look at who's the other one who's live. Ah, uh, yeah, this will be a good one. Oh, it's been going four and a half hours. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I think this is someone that I followed on uh, one of the times I raided Mikey. Uh, this is someone named Free Needles who is currently playing Star Trek 25th Anniversary Edition game, which was in 1992 which is more than 25 years ago. Um, actually, yeah, that's more than 30 years ago. 
<laughs> okay, so um, yeah, we are going to raid another person with a beard. Um, he's been going four and a half hours, so he might be finishing up not in the not too dim and distant. But yeah, we are going to finish up ourselves. I just need to sort out my holding screen. There we go. So um, yeah, I think we're going to be able to finish this uh, on the next stream. Um, I'll literally just play through and finish the whole thing, no matter how long it takes. Um, if I finish it really quickly, I'll have another go at one of the jukebox things just to see if I can actually finish one. Um, yeah, because the two of the trials so far have been brutal. Um, but yeah, that will either be Sunday or Monday, depending on how I'm feeling on Sunday. Um, I probably will do it Sunday because I'm going to be back to work on Monday. It's likely to be a hectic day. so um, And I may even stream a little earlier just to um, just to mean I'm not going to bed too late. Because, <laughs> yeah, old old person needs lots of sleep. But anyway, uh, links below for everyone to have a look at or while I'm away or if you if you haven't already. Um, there's my YouTube if you want to give me a subscribe on there. Give us a follow on Twitch if you're enjoying what I'm doing here. Just going through games that uh, everyone else has played to death, but I haven't in a lot of cases. And sometimes I'm going back to games that I haven't played in a long while. Um, so other than that, I don't think there's anything else to say um, other than schedule. Obviously, Friday's um, 7 p.m. GMT is my regular streaming day. And um, yeah, we are now done. So I hope everyone has a good weekend. I uh, wish you all a good week and hopefully I shall see you again soon. And uh, join me for raiding uh, Free Needles as well. First time I've actually dropped into one of his streams. So um, if you're not joining me for the stream, I'll see you again soon. Bye.